Hello, everybody. I was told to press it to my cheek. I hope I will remember that because it feels strange. But um, yeah, well, I'm super happy to be here. And I don't just say that because it's a good start for a presentation. Actually, um, I'm really happy because a year ago, Dominic, our friend and co-founder, was standing on the stage and presented a crazy idea and somewhat utopian idea. Um, as many might have thought. And, um, but he presented and shared it with people who are just as crazy and great as the idea, I hope, um, like Justina and Ben, for example. And out of that idea, a project emerged um, that we're presenting today, POC 21. So, um, and I'm so happy because that proves that, you know, even utopian ideas might become reality. So, um, yeah. This is an event that is taking place this year, but there's also another event um, uh, taking place this year. That's the climate conference, um, the COP21, and it's um, actually for the 21st time. And since then, um, CO2 emissions have doubled, so um, I think we all agree that uh, it's not a very successful project. And um, well, I'm not going to go into numbers and I'm not going to talk about all the other bullshit that's happening in the world, all the big problems, all the, uh, um, the multitude of crises that we are facing right now. Um, but I will talk about one reason why we face all like this multitude of crises. And one is that, as Aral really uh, like perfectly explained, so it was a good talk to be in f like ahead of us, actually. Um, like the principles upon which we create the stuff that we use every day are somewhat wrong. They are like the bullshit seed, basically. Um, we create stuff that breaks quickly, that um, is unrepairable. Basically, it's all a mark like market-driven uh, stuff and not stuff that we create for us as people to use. And um, by doing that, we're basically to put it with Otto Sharma's words, collectively creating results nobody wants. Um, so, what can we do about that? And we think there are already people doing something about it, and we can find those people in the open source, in the Fab Lab, and in the maker movement. In there, you can observe people who are creating stuff and solving solutions upon a completely different set of principles. They are creating stuff that are that is need driven that is long lasting that is user orientated that is um, basically the complete opposite of market driven solutions so we ask ourselves why don't all these great um, solutions why don't they scale why are they still a niche like why what's what's missing and um, I think that picture uh, explains it, because most of the stuff um, is only usable and understandable and attractive to makers themselves. And what is still missing is the link, like the bridge to, um, to the mass, basically. So what we want is uh, ethical design. We want the solutions that we all need just as attractive and as usable as the bullshit that we are uh, living with, with, with right now. So, and this is what we're trying to create with POC 21, and uh, how we will do that uh, will be explained by my colleagues now. Yes, so hi everybody. Uh, I'm so happy to follow, I just need to have the remote. Uh, I'm so happy that we're talking now because, you know, the 58 and, uh, you know, people, uh, we sure we are a little bit crazy and we tend to uh, realize the impossible. So we meet with those 58 and we try to make those two worlds meet. And we really want to do it in a way that we don't build the walls. And um, so what we're going to do this year is we're going to have an amazing uh, camp that's going to last five weeks where we're going to have 12 projects coming from all over the world to join us in an innovation and acceleration camp uh, focused on design and acceleration of those projects. What we're going to have, we're going to have 12 teams uh, in a sort of a residency program uh, staying with us 
uh, in this beautiful, amazing 17th century French castle that is surrounded by 600 hectares of, of non-bullshit trees. Uh, that will be working with some... <laughs> They will be working with some fantastic um, designers, innovators, uh, scientists, architects, uh, great people for, um, for all that time to improve their solutions that are not necessarily that user friendly today to make them beautiful, sexy and accessible for you guys. So that it's not a close uh, a group of, of makers, hackers, um, it's playing with their own tools, but those solutions get mainstreamed. And we're going to help them, we hope, to really bring that idea of this collaborative and open, because it's an open source project. Because as you know, I come from an open source world and I know how amazing it is to work with the community and how, how disruptive and distributed uh, this process is. So we want to do, we want to really bring it in this open and distributed way to everybody. But what kind of products we want to bring is the product that are open. Well, actually, they're the products that we mentioned before. So we kind of build on the manifesto that we have just listened about. So to this, we're going to bring those 12 projects for five, five weeks in a French castle, uh, 40 minutes away from Paris, uh, to innovate. And what's going to happen later is those projects will be presented in an exhibition uh, that's going to be done during those five weeks that's going to be open for public. And to follow on that great idea from the 70s in the United States, we're going to prepare a catalog. That is not a new idea that already happened. It was called the Whole Earth Catalog, and it was a huge movement that kind of failed. It kind of was a niche initiative, but there was no internet. So what we're going to do, we're going to prepare this, this amazing catalog of open source solutions that are accessible for everybody. And the exhibition will come back uh, to Paris. It's going to be a traveling exhibition. It's going to come back to Paris during the a cup uh, at 21, we're going to present what we can really prototype, how we can prove this concept of the sustainable open source projects impacting the way we live and the way we consume. So I let Benjamin explain the projects. Thank you. Um, so it's really funny because when we started to work on that project, like um, at the end of, uh, of last year, basically, um, uh, people were telling us, but who will be crazy enough to join you guys in this castle for five weeks. Like, we'll have no applications because it's a lot of time, it's a lot of resources, it's a huge commitment. And we run that call for projects from March to, uh, to April, and we got almost 200 applicants, teams from all the continents, crazy projects in energy, mobility, uh, communications, food, housing, and so on. And it was super hard to, to choose from. And actually, I can only thank like Dominic from the team who spent a huge amount of time to go through all the applications, to Skype call the shortlisted projects, and that was really, really a lot of work. But so in the end, we had 25 shortlisted projects, and now we are announcing uh, the seven first projects. Actually, it's six teams, but there is one guy which is crazy and uh, was like two super cool projects, and he's joining with his uh, two projects, basically. And the, the five left will be announced on June 12th at the Future en Seine conference in, uh, in, uh, in Paris. And so basically what we have uh, today, so we have a, uh, a wind turbine, like a vertical axis wind turbine that is made out of uh, recycled parts and materials, and it costs only $30 uh, to make. We have a solar concentrator, it's called Solar Rose, it's made by the guys from Open Source Ecology France. And the principle, like it's not photovoltaics, it's when you have mirrors that produce heat, and this heat uh, powers artisanal processes, industrial processes, or you you can convert this heat into electricity. We have um, a Nautil, it's an electric kettle with a bio-inspired design that is aimed to, to consume less electricity, basically. We have a full kitchen, like it's an uh, amazing, complete kitchen furniture that aims to produce uh, uh, food with aquaponic culture, uh, to preserve food without a fridge, like with um, a dark and cold area to put all your vegetables, to transform manually a lot of food and prepare a lot of meals. We have shower loop, so this is a very funny project. It's uh, basically a shower that uh, treats its water in real time, so you can make like a water loop, basically, and you can always shower with the same amount of, uh, of water. Um, we have Acre, which is basically a, a set of, um, of a small uh, urban farming kits that can be assembled, so for chicken coops, for uh, growing your vegetable, and so on. 
And Geosmin is a more, I would say, experimental project, which is about producing energy from uh, soil uh, and waste. And so you might, you might say, okay, these are all super exciting projects, but some of these pictures are pretty shitty, and some of them are, actually. And to get back to what Simon said, the thing is like, the idea is really to try to bring that gap between um, product design, good product design, and open source and the maker movement. And basically, take these projects and their teams and come up with projects that, has, that are sexy like Apple products, but open like Linux or like Wikipedia, basically. That's what we want to, uh, to achieve. Yeah. And so you're wondering how we're going to do it. It's the castle will be um, furnished with uh, fabrication tools. So basically, our project is a huge green fab lab. So yeah. imagine, it's a James Bond kind of new version of a fab lab. Exactly. And, and, um, and so the thing is like, of course, we're not doing that together. So it's a, like from the beginning, it's a collaboration between WeShare and, uh, and OpenState, which is the collective created by Simon, Dominique, Daniel, uh, and Max. And we've been working on that since, um, actually since after last WeShare Fest actively. And, um, and the thing is like in the beginning, a lot of, we, it was pretty hard in the beginning to convince people that we were already going to do it. And now we're like three months away from the event, but it wouldn't have been possible without the support from many, many partners, whether it's foundations like the Care Foundation in Denmark, whether it's a, a company like Castorama, for instance, who's really dedicated to support the maker movement. If you were at WishFest last year, you, you might remember their CEO presenting their wiki project and now, they are on the terrace out there presenting the wiki for home project, so I encourage you to go and meet them. Whether it's Autodesk, which builds super great software for designers and creatives to build good product, uh, good product design, uh, Maif, uh, La Fonderie, uh, and so on. Uh, we have academic partners also. So academic partners basically bring uh, on-site expertise from professors and students who want to help also, whether it's Sciences Po, uh, NC, ESCP, the Fraunhofer Institute, uh, and so on. And we also have a lot of community partners, and these community partners, they help us to reach out to projects when we are doing the call for projects. They also bring mentorship, expertise, they spread the world. So it's the, the FabLab network, FabLab.io, it's Make Magazine, it's uh, uh, La Payas, the Biohacker Space in Paris, and many more. And we'll have two projects, which will be also partners bringing their platform to work with the project. So uh, OSVI Cool and, uh, and, uh, and Wikihouse. And so you might wonder, OK, this is a super cool project, but what, what can I do to, to help? Like, wh what do you need, guys? And the thing is, we're still three, less than three months from the project, but we'll still need a lot of help. So you have our new website here, uh, poc21.cc. And we closed the call for project, but we ju just launched a new call, which is a call for help, basically. So it's uh, skills, hands, volunteers, stuff, material that will help us to achieve this great project. And there's a lot of room for uh, things we still need. So if you think you can support this project by your time, by your skill, or, or stuff and materials that can be used, I really encourage you to go and submit, uh, and submit on this website. Thanks a lot for your attention, and see you today, and have a great Wisha Fest. Thank you.